Let's go about new research on diabetes. Fasting glucose. This is very important. You have to test your glucose level, right, before you broke the fast. It's for insulin resistance. If you go about HOMA IR, that is homostatis, that is insulin resistance, you will find that if it is less than 2, you are fine. If it is 2, it is between 2 and 3, then you are uh, moderately insulin resistance. If you have even more than 3, then you will have a strong insulin resistance. So you should have insulin resistance less than 2, right? So how can you understand HOMA IR is an expensive test and it has some problems. So what is better is you have you test fasting glucose. If you have uh, been fasting for 10 hours or 12 hours and if the number go rises to 4.72 that is 85 right so one way you measure that says 4.72 in the other way if you measure that will be less than 85 so if uh, you measure after 10 hours or 12 hours fasting then that is uh, that should be less than 4.72 if you have 4.72 or less, then what happens? You are quite fine. And if you go above 4.72, it means you have some insulin resistance. So diabetes is the form how much you have problem. You have insulin resistance, right? But the main thing is insulin resistance. Diabetes is not that important. First, you have to care whether you have insulin resistance or not. And if you go about HOMA IR, and that's going to be expensive. So you don't need to go for HOMA IR. You just go for fasting glucose test after 10 or 12 hours fasting. And if it is 4.72 or less, then you are fine. And if it is normally measured, like if it is 3.88 to 5.6, you are not diabetic. So you are not having diabetes. It's true, but you may have already developed insulin resistance because insulin resistance is the main thing. So even when 5.6 is fine. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have fasting glucose reading less than 4.72, right? So the most important thing for those who are young, those who have no diabetes, they should go about fasting glucose test after 10 or 12 hours, right? And if it is 4.72 or less, then you're fine. And if it is more than 4.72, it means you are developing insulin resistance, right? And if you go about HOMA IR test, then you can be sure. True. So, but if you have diabetes, then it's not serious. If you have 3.88 to 5.6, then you are non-diabetic. If you have 5.7 to 7, you are pre-diabetic. And after having 75 gram glucose, if your reading goes more than 11.1 or 11.1, then you are diabetic. But here you see, even when you haven't had uh, 75 gram of glucose, you can uh, have your reading higher because you have taken bread, rice, so many things, right? The other way you can also measure ASB diabetes, that is by ASB1C hemoglobin test, it's an average of uh, kind of three months. So if you have ASB1C that is 6.4 or less, you are not diabetic, but you are pre diabetic. If you measure like 5.6 or below, then you are no problem you have no diabetes if it is between 5.7 to 6.4 that is pre-diabetes and if it is more than 6.4 that is the starting of diabetes if you go about hba1c that is 6.5 right 
So this is how you can measure your diabetes and you should also measure your insulin resistance. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.